money. Are you talking about other cars in this price bracket? What other cars? <laughs> well, there's EBRZ. Yeah, yeah EBRZ. true, true. It just feels like when you drive this, there is nothing else. I mean, a Lotus Elise kind of just always sits at $30,000. Yeah. That's just how it is. Whereas, I mean, this just isn't a world of its own, especially when you put a little money into an exhaust or something like that. It just sounds like a GT3. Until you actually hear a GT3. Until you actually hear a GT3. <laughs> and, but the reality is, I could not go through three gears in a GT3 without just getting arrested. This is in a world of its own where you get the sound and you're not totally illegal. get the speed to go away, right? Uh, too bad. <laughs> here doing a city drive in a car that belongs in country mountain roads so fortunately on my channel we've got a lot of content with this car on just such roads so I'll put some links in the description uh, or a card so you can actually go and watch this thing in action David drives the heck out of it and that's what I like about this car is just you basically you can afford to build them in a way that allows you to drive them like they're meant to be driven you get to really beat on them let me just put this window down a touch you got to hear this in the tunnel videos in Boston are hysterical because everyone's just horrible. Like, like the bird, the bird's gonna come out. Here it is, come on. Isn't that scary? It definitely gives you a little jump of the bumps. Yeah, yeah, the mid corner, like, whoop, whoop. Starro Drive. Uh, yeah, if we were at speed, we would have been off a half lane. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a great way to just like lose traction while going around a corner, while under throttle. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Well, luckily, there's nothing dangerous about Starro Drive in Boston. No, not no. at all. Sometimes slippery when wet. Sometimes but... slippery when wet. I've been heavily considering a Cayman R. I really like the Cayman R, but it's big money. I mean, that's the thing is you're looking at a car that's 
still at, at its original MSRP of like $67,000. And when this is on the table and I can put 10 grand into it, basically have a $35,000 monster, it's awesome. And, and for those folks who think, well, it's a Cayman, not a 911, those tend to be the same folks who say, oh, Cayman spin too easily. And it's like, well, what do you think you're getting in a 911, you know? Like, they're both twitchy, enjoyable cars. And I don't mean twitchy because they're not confidence-inspiring, but that you do need to adapt to them. They require finesse. And I think the open diff in this car was probably more of a lifesaver than anything else. Because with the limited slip, I'd imagine it's a lot more sketchy. loud it is loud but it's not deafening it's actually pretty drivable which is interesting because I you know you're a good friend of mine so I've driven behind this car for hours on end and it's really loud outside the car like really loud so uh, you know it, it's not like like I you came to my house today I could hear you from blocks away I yep. was like oh good David's here you are standing on the curb I was waiting for you hear me coming yep <laughs> WCI, isn't that that company that had that awful PR event recently? I don't know, but, uh, yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> Turn left on Marlboro Street. In 500 feet. 